Marky Freeman, a director with PGC Basketball. Today we're going to talk about how to get you more playing time. Most players don't know that their playing time is determined by the amount of trust they have with their teammates and their coaches. They go the entire season asking themselves, why am I not getting more playing time? The question that you really need to be asking yourselves is what am I doing to lose the trust or not earn the trust of my teammates and my coaches? Key number one, accept your role. Your coach put you on the team because they have a specific role that they need you to play in order to make that team successful. A lot of players don't get the playing time that they feel like they deserve simply because they haven't accepted their role and they're trying to play the role of another player. Accept your role, we before I, and do it well. Key number two, start in your role. Be the best at what you do. Be the best at your job. I think of players like um, Patrick Beverly. He shows up every single day to be that tenacious defender that his teammates need, his coaches need, and he defends from one baseline to the other baseline. He doesn't come out on the floor trying to be their best three-point shooter. He doesn't come out on the floor trying to be their best scorer. Figure out what your role is, who you need to be for the best of the team, and star in it daily. The third key is make your teammates better every single day. In practice, on the court, and off the court, challenge your teammates. A perfect example is John Stockton. Throughout his career, he never lost a suicide. His role was to hustle and challenge his teammates every single day in practice. If you do this, you'll start building the trust of your teammates and your coaches because they know that you have the best interest of the team and the program at heart. The fourth key is be consistent. This is what makes any player great, their ability to be at their best daily. Think about it. If I know my role, I accept my role, I star in my role daily, and I challenge my teammates every single day so that I can make my teammates better, that's gonna build the trust of my teammates, that's gonna build the trust of my coaches, and that's gonna make us better overall. Be consistent. The fifth key is do more than what's expected. Come to practice early, stay late, get in a couple of extra workouts. This shows your coaches that you're invested and you're willing to put in the work. This is a great way to build trust. Also, rebound for teammates. Send a text message, maybe on, on, on birthdays or holidays or, or days that are important. Send inspirational or encouraging text messages whenever your teammates are going through something. Be there for them. This is a great way to connect and show your teammates and your coaches that you care and you're invested. All right, if this video helps you out, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe down below.